Hey there friends, in this video I'm going to share the exact meal plan I ate to lose 50 pounds in 3 months without counting calories. Let's start with breakfast. Half a cup of oatmeal, that's the quick oats from Great Value, mixed with half a cup of water. I throw in a little bit, like a pinch of zero calorie sweetener, and some ground cinnamon, which is in here, about half a teaspoon. Microwave it until you like it. Then I have some peanut butter, a tablespoon. This is the Kraft Smooth Peanut Butter. I like to mix it in when it's warm. And then on the side, I have half a cup of plain fat-free Greek yogurt, which I flavor with a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of the low calorie sweetener. And I top it with half a cup of frozen berries, usually strawberries. I like to thaw them overnight or in the microwave and then the juice flavors the yogurt even more. And I'm sharing this video because I used to weigh 275 pounds. My weight was seriously affecting my health. It was causing me serious health problems like sleep apnea so bad that I needed a machine to help me breathe at night. And I knew I needed to make changes, but I also struggled with serious emotional eating problems. And so any sort of calorie counting, number tracking really triggered the emotional eating. So after going through a ton of things that didn't work, I decided to try using portion control to help me lose weight without counting the calories. And it worked. It didn't just help me lose the 50 pounds in three months. I was able to go on and lose a total of 130 pounds and keep it off for seven years. So for a snack, one of my favorite snacks, half a cup of celery sticks with a tablespoon of peanut butter. And again, it's the same Kraft Smooth peanut butter. Lunch, one of my favorite things to do was a tuna sandwich. So I would use half a cup, sorry, half a can of tuna, and this is the chunk light in water. I always get the ones in water, not oil, because it's less calories. I mix it with a tablespoon of light mayo. This one is the Calorie Wise Miracle Whip. I usually put a little bit of celery in the tuna. If you like that, you can do that as well. And I put it on two slices of whole wheat bread. This is the great value whole wheat bread. Good. And I serve it with one cup of veggies. I really love to slice up cucumber into sticks and then do half a cup of cucumber, half a cup of carrot sticks, and I serve it with a tablespoon of ranch. If you're not ready for light ranch, you can try the, the full fat first. I found as long as I measured out a tablespoon, it didn't really matter which one I ate, whatever one I preferred, because I was measuring it and that was helping me be in a calorie deficit. Then for a snack, you guys are gonna love this because I ran out of almonds, so I'll show you what I did. But my, <laughs> my typical snack was like a piece of fruit, like a banana, this is about a large banana, and then a quarter cup of, of nuts. And as you can see, I'm out of almonds, so I drew you a picture of almonds. Beautiful. And I added here that it was a quarter cup of roasted salted almonds because I wasn't ready to go no salt almonds, the raw natural ones. I needed to start with the salted ones. Eventually I could buy the plain ones, but I let myself start small and that was roasted salted almonds and I was measuring them out so it didn't really matter with a banana. And then for dinner, a taco. I use one of these tortillas it's the like large size whole wheat tortilla from Walmart and I topped it with two tablespoons of fat-free sour cream two tablespoons of salsa and you guys will see in the b-roll I still eat tacos I actually ate them for dinner I mixed this low sodium taco seasoning with three whoops sorry three ounces sorry two and a half ounces of lean ground beef which we cook up in advance and then just measure and heat on the pan on the stove as we go. And that's, I lost um, 130 pounds alongside uh, with Nicole and we always have, even though a lot of these are quick meals, we always have like some of the basics like ground beef, usually every week is prepped and put in the fridge. And if we buy it on sale, a big, you know, 
We buy a lot on sale, we'll divide it up, freeze some, put some in the fridge. Yeah, we cook up a bunch usually. We buy it from Costco, cook it up, throw it in the freezer, defrost it in the fridge and just heat it either in the microwave or on the stove. We also do things like this. I added lettuce to my taco, about a third cup. But we love buying things that are already already prepped, like these iceberg shreds, because you literally, they're already cleaned and chopped for you. You just throw them on whatever you're using them for. So a third cup of that, some tomato. We used up all the tomato, but it was about a tablespoon of chopped up tomato. And then 30 grams of cheese. This is marble cheese. It's just regular. Again, we started with regular cheese. We eventually went to light, but it's what whatever we preferred at the time was what we used. And as long as we waited out, it was okay. Then on the side, serve it with cauliflower. This is the rice cauliflower from Costco. It comes in a massive bag and you get four bags like that. And all you do is microwave it for seven minutes. There's no chopping or cleaning of cauliflower at all. And so we eat one of the recipes, I think it's in the first 50 or the next 50 is Nicole's grandma's uh, cauliflower, right? It's in the guilt-free cookbook. Oh, right. Yeah, um, it's like breaded cauliflower basically. It's amazing. But anyway, I use, we did in this recipe, one cup of cauliflower with two teaspoons of light margarine. Kyle and I always had a snack or a dessert because we found when we denied ourselves that, it would just set us off track. So it was always either like a sweet treat or a salty treat. Um, tonight I'm gonna show you the salty one. The sweet one would be like half a cup of like low sugar, low calorie ice cream with two low sugar, low calorie cookies. But tonight I'm gonna show you our old standby, which was four cups and we would, Basically, we would take this measuring cup, but we would fill it to the top of here, so a little over four cups. Popped. Of pop, yeah, not the seed. <laughs> um, air popped popcorn. And then we would put a little bit of cooking spray, not too much, because it does add, cal add calories, but a little bit of cooking spray, and then some sort of kernel seasoning, or if you wanted like a sweet and salt, you could do salt and low calorie sweetener, which I we sometimes do. I think that's my favorite. The, the cheesy, cheesy dill. dill. Yeah. I think this one's my favorite as well. And um, in Canada, you can't just go get this at Walmart. You actually have to go to the Colonel's stand and get it, but it's worth it. We do get asked a lot, how did you figure out your portions? So I basically thought of a guideline for myself and I, I decided on breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks, and that I would spread the meals about two to four hours apart. Once I figured that out, I chose what I wanted. So I would write out a meal plan like this. Then I would use the serving sizes on the backs of packages like this. And I would use these as a guide. So I'd make my meal plan up using these as a guide. And then I would weigh myself at the end of the week. If I lost weight, then the portions were good and I would use them again for the next week. If I didn't lose weight or I gained weight, then I would just pull back slightly on the portions and then try again until I found what worked and then I would just keep going like that. And me and Nicole had so much weight to lose that just cutting down on the portions, the, the fat just melted off of us in the first three months. We lost, both of us lost 50 pounds, our first 50 pounds in three months because yes, portioning the food and we really couldn't do much physically so we only did like 5 to 15 minutes of walking that was the only exercise because it was the diet that mattered and because we were eating less through portion control the weight literally fell off and now those results are just ours they wouldn't yes. be typical they weren't even typical for us at the beginning much faster mm -hmm. into our journey it took us a full two years to lose the rest of the weight right about a year year and a half yeah it took us three months to lose the first 50 pounds and then to lose the full 130 pounds it took two years but that was because in the middle we did fall off track a little because we started taking away food groups to speed up the process and it actually caused us to fall off track so once we did a balanced diet like this yeah it took us about two years total but the first 50 pounds came off in three months and again those are our results it might not be that it happens for everyone, but portion control really worked because we measured stuff out. We didn't track or count calories or numbers of any kind because that threw both of us off.
So if you like this and you want to know more of what I ate to lose the weight, I do have weight loss ebooks. The links are down below. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. I also am sponsored by, I call it Hoodle, but it's HTLT stuff. Harder than last time. <laughs> Harder than last time. The link is down below. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off the order as well. This is my favorite flavor of protein powder, Lucky or Marshmallow, because I am a cereal lover to extreme. So this really helps me get cereal in a high protein way. And we do the portion control with the protein uh, powder too. We mm -hmm. still have kids cereal. We just cut down on the portion, use the cereal flavored protein and mix it with Greek yogurt and, and fruit. Yeah, literally we do Greek yogurt, a scoop of protein, top it with some fruit and some low calorie cereal. So we get the best of all the worlds, but it's still portion controlled. So the friends, I hope this helps you guys. I love you. Sass loves you. We'll love you till the end of time, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to check out these two vids for more info on how we love our food and Whoa. lose the weight and keep it off and just be cute, 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 my goose. And we love you. Catch you in the next one. Peace, cutie. Thanks for watching. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.